What's up, everybody? Uh, today I'm gonna try and attempt a one-take review, so bear with me. I'm just not feeling good today, and I don't feel like spending the entire night on the computer editing it. So, here we go. Just gonna record this, upload it to YouTube, blah, blah, blah. Anyways... Today we will be taking a look at the Buzzworthy Bumblebee Autobot Silver Streak, which, as a lot of people know, is also named Autobot Blue Streak. Um, we're going to take a look at the box real quick, and I actually really dig this. The black pops against the yellow. I love all of the art on the side, having the Cyberverse Optimus down here, and what looks like the art from... Earthrise RC, but uh, no, you got a nice little picture of Silver Streak's robot mode. His guns all fire in there. Awesome picture of Silver Streak on the side. I'm just going to call him Blue Streak for the rest of the video because that's, even though it says Silver Streak right there, I'm just going to call him Blue Streak for the rest of the video because. Blue Streak was his original name. Silver Streak was a thing when they lost the license. Uh, not a lot on the back. Legal Jerfluffle on the bottom. Transformers Legacy. Uh, got a couple pictures. 15 steps. More legal jargon at the bottom. But uh, no, really neat looking box. Alright, so here is Blue Streak, and he's just a remold, repaint, well, not really remold, but repaint of Prowl. Let me use the same mold. Take a look at the back real quick. But, uh, no, awesome little figure, love these colors on him. Take a quick look at the head, which looks gorgeous. Uh, it, I've got a couple little paint bleeds on the yellow going on to the blue on mine. I don't know if you can see it right there, but uh, yeah. And then that's another problem we'll talk about here in a bit. But, other than that, nice deep blue painted eyes, dark blue helmet with yellow detailings, and a yellow crown. Oh, that's kind of loose, too. Here, I guess we can take these off for now. But, uh, now moving down to the chest, got a nice little Autobots, Autobot logo right there in the middle. Crotch shot. And what I think is the coolest bit of engineering, these window legs that lead into the, the feet that are the back of the car. That was done very, very well. But, uh, no, cool little figure. Go over articulation real quick after I zoom it back out. But, uh, all right. So, head on a ball joint, full 360, up that far, down, not too much, not too much side to side either. Uh, shoulder is on a hinge and swivel, so it can go out that far and can twist full 360 degrees. Watch out for the wing, it will get stuck there, and then watch out when you're bending it up. Because there's a god damn it. Watch out when you're bending the shoulder up because there is a hinge right here due to the transformation, and that will pull it up and make the chest come loose. But if you wanna, if you want just a little bit more articulation, you can do that. Just make sure to peg that peg right there. 
back into this hole when you're done with it. Uh, the left arm on mine is really loose compared to the right one, which I don't really mind. I mean, he could still hold his poses, he could still hold his guns, so I don't really care. Moving on, we have a swivel at the bicep, which is really tight. So I am holding on at the shoulder here, which leads down into a single hinge at the elbow, just over 90, good range of moment there, movement there, and a swivel at the wrist. Uh, we do get a waist swivel, followed by these new hip joints that they've been pushing out over the last couple of years, where the whole part of the skirt, I guess, is on the, it is the joint, really, which is a really cool piece of engineering anyway, so can kick out about that far, backwards, all the way, move his arms up, uh, uh huh, <laughs> well, Backwards all the way. <laughs> you have a, a, a swivel at the thigh and a single jointed knee which goes up over 90 due to the transformation. And you have a hinge at the ankle as well as a pivot that goes out all the way. He can kick out that far as well, so you can fully utilize that pivot and stick him down uh, if your figure doesn't fall in half when you're trying to review it. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and stand him back up here. Overall, the articulation's great on this figure. I love what they did with the torso. It's one of my favorite parts about it, and it m looks just iconic. I wish this was tightened up, and I wish that I could tighten it up, but swivel the joint is actually right there, and that's the area that's making it uh, making it loose. But uh, no, so he does come with three guns. Uh, one you saw earlier that's just plugged into his back. Actually, you've seen them all already. So we're going to plug his two missile launchers into his shoulders, which look pretty neat. Go ahead and take a look at one of those up close. I mean, yeah, it's, it's just a... Hold on, where am I? Needle nose. Just hold it. I mean, yeah, it's a fairly neat gun. I mean, a little basic. It's got two ports on either side, a post here at the back that's really small. I mean, if you really, really wanted to, you could fit it in his toe right there. But I mean, eh. But, uh, no, those just go into his... I don't know if they fit into his hands. Oh, they do fit into his hands. But, uh... No, so they just fit into his shoulders like that, similar to the Siege Barricade. But, uh, no, here is his main weapon. It's designed after the original G1 Prowl Blaster, and I'm assuming that the Earthrise Prowl also had this as well. But, uh, no, awesome looking gun. I love it. I love this design. I It just screams classic Transformers, and that's awesome to me. But it does have these two little posts here, so that if you remove the shoulder missiles, you could just plug the guns in on either side like that and 
you know, just power it up a bit. But, put taking those back off and sticking them here. And sticking them back on the shoulder. God damn it. Get on. Ah. Anyway, so he does hold his gun firmly in both of his hands. It's kind of tight getting them in there. But, uh, yeah, as you can see, he is not dropping that anytime soon. Uh, but, uh, oh, wow. But, uh, yeah, no. Even with the loose arm, he can, he can still hold his gun up. So I am okay with that for the most part. But no, he does have weapon storage, as you can see. Uh, guns on the shoulders, he's got ports all over his arms, one on his leg, and then one here on his back. You just plug one of these ports in, and I angle the gun up as much as I can, so that way, if you're looking at it from the front, you don't really see it. I mean, you can just barely, at some angles, make the tip make the tip out coming over his shoulder but I mean for the most part you're not gonna see it if, if you just have them on the shelf but uh now that we're all past that we are going to get into transformation so bear with me this is my first time ever transforming anything be from behind a camera so we're going to remove his guns and set those to the side Take his arms, and as you can see, this one's already coming up. But you're going to snap there and bring it, this post out of this hole. All right? Stick the feet together. Stick the feet together like that. Swivel it at the waist. Make sure that when you do this, that these two little flappy things are up and out of the way. You're going to pull his chest out of his chest like that, and there's a little panel right here that you're just gonna flip up. Bring it around like that. Arms, once again, whole post under here. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that or not. You just twist the arm and plug it in down there make sure that the wheel is facing out obviously and then we're going to take his legs and just fold them into his shins god damn it these feet do not want to stick together at all so we're going to take his legs fold them into his shins like that and then fold him fold his legs into the hood or the top of the legs into his hood and then just make sure that snaps in close the doors up push the heel spurs down and push the arms down until they are flat and here he is in his robot mode or robot mode in vehicle mode so, he does have weapon storage on vehicle mode. Just plug the missiles on back where they were. And as per the box, the gun goes up there like that, which looks really stupid in my opinion. But, it's your toy. Do whatever you want. I don't care. But, uh, no. Awesome little vehicle mode. I love this car. I do believe that the original uh, Blur smoke screen, or not Blur, Blue Streak smoke screen and Prowl uh, transformed into a Fair Lady Datsun or something like that. Uh, I could be wrong, but no. Awesome, awesome looking car. I freaking love this thing. Uh, Taking a look at the back, you have his rear lights, whatever this is. If you can't tell, I don't know anything about cars, but here are the windows that were on his shins earlier. Some rolly wheels 
that spin as wheels should. I'm tired. Just cut me some slack. But, uh, no. That deep, deep blue leading into that dark silver. Ugh. This thing just looks awesome. I love it. But, uh, no, I wish I had a car in, or another robot here in vehicle mode that I could show you, but I forgot to do size comparisons before it, so all of my robots are in robot mode. But, man, that's just awesome, awesome little car. I, I, it just looks super sleek, super cool. Now I'm going to get them back into robot mode. Alright, so, open the wings, arms out, arms up. Pull the heel spurs out, feet out, legs out, twist, pop this down, and then crumple all this up into the chest, and then make sure when you, when you do this that, oh, come on that everything tabs in to its correct spot. There we go. And there you have him back in his robot mode. Put his weapons and whatever back on him. And then we'll get into size comparisons. Like I said, bear with me. I'm just not feeling good. I'm not editing this today. Alright, weapons back on. Here he is next to... Transformers, War for Cybertron, Siege, Prowl. Who... This mold is based on, actually, this mold's based off of this car, or rather, what this car is, or, you know what I'm trying to say. This character was this car in the 80s, so they made this mold look like an alien version of this car. Does that make sense? Anyways, I didn't really like the siege mold all that much and everything that or every problem that I have with this this mold right here was fixed with this mold thin legs fixed uh, the way that this looks in general right here completely fixed just everything that I didn't like about this one was fixed with this one, which is weird because they're practically the same thing. But here he is with Prowl. Here he is with another version of that Siege Mold Barricade, who transforms into the same vehicle as Prowl does, but evil so here he is next barricade I wish I had smoke screen to compare him to but I don't so here he is next to siege sideswipe and then to get him with a couple of the newer figures here he is next to legacy skids See how those two look next to each other. And then finally, here he is next to, not next week's, but the week after's review, Transformers Legacy Voyager Class Bulkhead, which is a fair bit taller than he is. But, uh... Overall, honestly, if you consider yourself a Blue Streak fan, I would say get this figure. 
if you need a blue streak for your collection, I would say get this figure, unless you're a stickler for the colors, honestly. I love the Diaclone colors on this model. It looks great. I just can't see anything that I actually have wrong with it. I mean, yeah, paint's kind of sloppy. Paint on the shoulders chip chipping off. Uh, shoulders loose. Weapons loose. But, do I care? No, I freaking love this thing. I mean... He's super poseable, he looks really cool, and I just, I, I, I freaking, I, I adore this thing. Simple as that. Anyways, thanks for watching today, guys. Sorry it's not better quality than this. I tried doing this in one take, and if it fails, then it fails. If it doesn't, then maybe I might do videos like this from now on. So we'll just have to see. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, hit the bell for notifications if you want more comment content like this. And I will catch you guys later. See ya.